Now you really want to be cleaning your aquarium regularly because when you don't clean them regularly, then when you're even cleaning the glass, you can see the sheer amount of algae that gets released. And all this algae that gets released is gonna go into your filters. And that means that you're gonna to have to do, do some water changes, try and suck out as much of this crap as you can because all of this crap in the water is gonna raise your nutrient levels because the algae's there to suck all the nutrient out of the water. So if you are trying to resurrect an aquarium, for example, if you've been away on holidays, like this situation, you wanna be servicing your tank very regularly until you get it back on track. That means cleaning filters, that means cleaning skimmers, that means water changing, that means gravel cleaning. And then eventually you'll get it all back on track. So the fish in this tank, blue tank hiding in there is still very fat. So I'm still not gonna put any food in the auto feeder because you only wanna put food in something like an auto feeder when there's no nutrient in the tank and the fish need to rely on the nutrients. In a situation like this, where there's clearly too much nutrient in the tank, the only time I'd put food in the auto feeder is if the fish looks thin. And this fish does not look thin, so no food in the auto feeder. The corals are loving it. These Red Sea skimmers are so great because they've just got a, in, a manual internal cleaning thing. So you just spin this around and that gives the inside of your neck of your skimmer a good clean. Um, these things are handy too. These are, um, these, the water passes through here and then works as a mechanical media. So it slowly winds the filter media from here onto that side. Um, the disadvantages of this is the smell. There's a very light smell of fish crap and the disadvantages, I really don't like the sound that sounds like a cat, like that. So, there's the sound, it's not that bad. I just don't really like it. But in theory, they're pretty awesome because they constantly give you pre-filtered water. So for two very small downsides, a slight smell, which is only slight, and a slight sound, you've got beautifully pre-filtered water. So realistically, these things are pretty awesome. And we've got a algae reactor, and we've got a skimmer, and we've got a dosing pump that I just need to turn up because at the moment the calcium in here is a little bit low, KH is a bit low. So particularly if you're going away on holidays, having a auto top up reservoir next to your tank, is one of the best things you can do. So that's got a top up system in it, which means that as this sump evaporates, um, it's got an extra 40 liters to draw on. Um, often they can be tucked very neatly next to or even behind the aquarium. An extra auto top up is a very, very good idea. Also with a tank like this, where the nutrient level is very high, you don't really want to be feeding your corals or even feeding your fish while your nutrient level is high. You want to focus on getting your nutrient level down extracting all that algae, getting nice low nutrient levels before you go back to feeding again. Because feeding when your nutrient level's high is just gonna cause more algae. Now one thing you need to be very careful of is having a chiller in a cabinet. Because the chiller's gotta be able to vent its hot air. So it's really important that you know which way the chiller vents 
and it needs to be open at the back and it needs to vent so the air can vent. In a perfect world, the chiller would be next to the tank, um, but if it does have to be in the tank, you've either got to make sure the doors open regularly or put grates in the side of your vents. The other thing when you do go away on holidays is, um, is make sure that there's air getting into your house. So a lot of people go away on holidays and they close their house up and then there's no oxygen getting into the house. And then they end up with pH and KH problems and the problems with dissolved oxygen just due to um, the house being locked up. And if you don't have a chiller when you go away on holidays, you gotta be concerned because you often go away on holidays in summer and then normally you've got your air con on and then suddenly you don't have your air con on and then the tank can overheat and that can be a major problem. The other thing is that if you're going away on holidays, one of the worst things to do is get your friends to feed the fish because they tend to feed them too much. You're better off just getting like a reliable auto feeder. Um, so you're, if you've got a whole lot of money to other fish and your friends overfeed your fish while you're away, then um, you might be tempted to overfeed your friend when you get back, especially if they're all dead. And yes, that has happened. So if you are going away on holidays, making sure that you've got your lights on timers are very important because it's important that your, your lights have a similar light cycle when you're away. You don't want to be relying on turning lights on and off or having anyone re relying on anyone turning lights on and off. You really want to make sure that they're on timers or that they're um, automated like these ones. So your light periods are the same. It's also better to like shut your windows if you're away because excess light is just going to cause the excess algae, which you don't need while you're away. And then getting some, when you get back, getting some Strom snails and some sand sifting stars to stir this substrate up is going to be a really good idea. And these automatic pre-filters are fabulous while you're away too, so you can have fresh pre-filter material even though they make that stupid sound that I hate.